Welcome, Hawks. Today, uh, we are going to be talking about a drawing called the base plate. So when this is, assignment is posted on Classroom, um, I will hopefully be posting a PDF on the assignment. However, I'd like to review how to go and find a number of some upcoming assignments. So we'll start by going to the Start tab and go to Documents. And when you open that up, you're going to navigate your way down to this PC and expand it if it is not expanded. And we're looking for the S drive. Okay. So we go to the S shared drive. We're going to go Main South, Students, AAT, Applied Tech, CAD Shared, Kraus. And then we're going to go into CAD 1. And we're going to go look in under the CAD folder. <clears throat> Again, this particular assignment is going to be the base plate. You'll see that there are a number of documents here in this CAD uh, folder. And uh, if you don't want to open it up as a PDF or you would like to open it up as a file on your computer, hopefully there is an Adobe Reader installed. And if you open that file up, you'll be able to zoom and rotate as necessary, either uh, through Kami on Classroom uh, or hopefully as, again, a Adobe Reader for the PDF. So this particular drawing uh, shouldn't be anything crazy tough. We're going to be talking about using uh, some lines to make a basic rectangle to start. You're going to find the center marks or the center positions for the circles, the five circles. Uh, you'll need to use the offset command to get the rectangle in uh, for the middle here. Okay. Uh, and then the two new commands are going to be chamfer. Okay. Chamfer is this kind of a knockdown on a corner. Okay. So normally you would have a 90 degree corner uh, up here in the top uh, corner or all four corners of this square. We could try drawing in this angle. However, we're not given the actual angle. Uh, those of you that are uh, on top of things might be like, well, that's a 45 degree angle, Mr. Krauss. Uh, and you'd be correct. Um, but we are a couple different ways to draw a chamfer, but I want to show you the tool or have you try the tool in the software. And the other one is the rounded corners down here. Some of you may be thinking, well, I can draw a circle and do a couple of tangency points, and that would be an option, but we're going to learn two new commands. One's called chamfer, and one is called fillet. Uh, some people think it's fillet, like fillet a fish sandwich at McDonald's, but it's really a, full, a fillet command, okay? So let's take a quick peek here. Uh, again, let's pull up AutoCAD, and this is the drawing you are looking to replicate, okay? Uh, dimensions and everything. Let's go look at the A size again so it's a little bit clearer. All right. So first thing I would do is I would start with a 4x4 four four rectangle. So I'm just going to draw in this particular file. Turn on my ortho. Oh, you know what? Let's get a brighter line for you. I'm going to use a construction line. Oops. Line. So 4 inches one way, 4 inches the other. Four inches again, and left to close. Okay, there's my four inch rectangle. Uh, oh, sorry, four inch square is four by four. Again, offsetting for the location of the circles, we see that they're a half inch down and a half inch over. So, as previously done, we can use the offset command and set the distance for 0.5 or half an inch, and I can offset down and over, effectively getting the center positions of the outside four circles. Again, as a, uh, a reminder, drawing circles, you'll see up in here in the browser, in the, uh, sorry, in the uh, command prompt, the first thing it says when I go in to do a circle is where's the center point? And you'll see that there are a couple options. The default is a center point. So I'm gonna come down here to this intersection point, which again, five by five so from this line over half an inch from this line down a half an inch where those two meet is the center of those corner circles i can start a circle right there okay and the important thing to pay attention to hawks is 
is a radius of the circle or a diameter. You see the default is for a radius. We come back over here and look at the, uh, the uh, example. It is a diameter, a circle with a line through it is a diameter symbol, and is a 0.375. So I want to come up here and either left click where it, the diameter is kind of highlighted in gray, or I can type in D and hit enter, which is what I just did there. And now you'll see it says, okay, well, tell me the diameter. That was 0.375. Okay. Now, some of you may want to just draw each one of those circles. Some of you uh, might want to become familiar with the copy command. So if I use the copy command, first thing it says is, what do you want to copy? Well, hey, I, want, want to, I might want to copy a circle. So I'll select it with my pick box that I can right click on my mouse or hit enter on my keyboard. Now it says, where do you want to copy it from? That's the base point. Well, I want to copy it from its center. Okay, so again, I have O snap on, and it's down here in the bottom right, F3. So it helps me find the center with that kind of circle. There it is, circle green. Okay, so I'm going to left click, and now you'll see there's a circle attached to my cursor. And what I can do is just make my way over to the intersection points. And you'll see the green intersection X, and I can just left click to place those circles. Okay. <clears throat> Next item, uh, let's just focus because I'm not going to show you how to draw everything. Let's focus on these chamfers and fillets, okay? So up in the modify toolbar in the top left, there's a whole bunch of stuff. The first thing we want to look at is chamfer, okay? Hmm, where is it? Move, copy, trim, copy, rotate. What do we have down here? There is there's fillet. Oh. And if I drop fill it down, you'll see that there's a chamfer option. Okay, so let's start with the chamfer because that's around the outside. So you see AutoCAD will sort of give you uh, some hints or tips um, when you just hover over a particular button or tool button. Um, and so let's click on chamfer and let's see what it says here. Okay, so in my command window, says, well, where's the first line? Well, the first thing you want to do is decide how my chamfer is going to work. And we see we've got a half inch by half inch chamfer. So you see there's some options here. And again, there's a lot of options. We're going to use the, I'm sorry, the distance option. So I'm going to left click on distance right now. So I'm going to left click my mouse. And it says, hey, well, what's the first distance of your chamfer? And in fact, the default setting is 0.5, which is actually what I want. But let's pretend that it's not 0.5. So I'm going to type in uh, 0.5 and hit enter. Now it says, hey, well, what's the second distance of your chamfer? Meaning I can have two different distances. That would give me a different angle of chamfer. Here I am looking at doing it the same. This time I'm just going to type in 1 slash 2. Again, reminder, Hawks, um, that AutoCAD will uh, convert your fractions to the appropriate decimals. Okay, so I now have specified my two sides, and what I'm going to do says, hey, what is the first line that you want to chamfer? Well, let's say I wanted to do this top left corner. I'm going to select one line with a left click, and it says, hey, well, where's the second line? And I'm going to select the other line, and you can see there it's actually giving me an example of what it's going to do. And if I left click, there is my chamfer. Okay, let's do that again. To re-enter a command that I have already used, um, or previously just used, I should probably specify. If I hit enter again on my keyboard, it will go right back into the last command I was in. And you'll see here uh, in uh, just below that command prompt, it's telling me that the initial distances are half inch and half inch. So it's still set up, and I would just go over and select my two new lines, and there will be a chamfer. Okay, so we've looked at copying we've looked at chamfer now look at let's look at the fillet command okay so uh, again if you don't know what you're doing hit escape a few times uh, and it will cancel out of any current commands now we want to just talk about how to do this fillet with a radius of half an inch okay and i'm just going to demonstrate that down here on one of our other corners so we're going to go up to what is now set to chamfer and i'm going to hit that drop down, I'm going to select fill it. 
And again, we've got a lot of these options. These are all the different options inside of this one command. Well, right now I want to tell it a radius. So I'm going to select R or, or type in R and hit enter or left click where it says radius. And it says, well, okay, well, tell me the radius you want. It's currently at, at 0.5. That is exactly what I want. Okay, so the default may or may not uh, match. So this is the default in the file. That may or may not match what you're looking to do. So if it doesn't match, put in the correct distance. Make sure you're understanding it's a radius or if it's a diameter. Remember, it's a diameter. Uh, we have to divide it in half if, if the computer is asking for a radius. And if the radius is correct, or after we type in our distance, we hit enter, we should now get that same pick box option. And it wants to know what you want to fill it. And it's the same concept as before. We're going to select two lines. And you'll see it gives me there in a preview what it's going to do. OK, let's try that again. I'm just going to hit enter. Takes me right back into the command I was just in. Left click on one line, left click on the other line. You'll see here. If I move my cursor around, it's going to uh, try to do a fillet at that size at different locations, depending upon what I'm looking to do. Okay, so it's very important that you know what you want to pick. Two left clicks, and you'll have chamfers and fillets. Okay, hopefully that's a nice little introduction to, again, a uh, reminder on how to draw some circles. We uh, talked about how to use the array, or I'm sorry, the offset command talked about using the copy command that was a little bit newer and we use the fillet and the chamfer options everything else that you need uh, to complete this you should already be familiar with and there is already a video on how to set this up uh, to print and you'll notice again Hawks that I oops, I have uh, the scale here at one inch equal to one inch which is also full scale and that should look like it is centered on our title block good luck and uh, we'll see you in the next video.